Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Minecraft. Oh Naturel, as always, this is your host, CJ Leerod, and today what we're going to do is I Yep, we're still under here in the cav in the cavern. But today I'm gonna go for some fresh air, I believe. Or maybe I will once it becomes daytime. Uh, because I need to go out and get some sand. Well, I don't need to. I, I really want to, though. Simply because I, I want to do some stuff with glass. And this is not going to cut it. And I want to see if I can maybe find some outside nearby. So we're going to be exploring today. Hooray! Um, so we just need to collect our supplies here. Do I even have any wool to make a bed? No, I don't. Huh. Well, that's lame. Um, let's see. I'm going to need maybe a few more arrows. Do I have any extra arrows? Three. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Grab this. This is what I wanted. And put this thing away. You I need to bring back like that. And same with you. This is all disorganized. Oh, so disorganized. You should be going in here instead, like so, and like that. And you, I'll just make a few boats. Three boats will be fine. More than enough, really. Like that. And put you in there. Uh, okay, so I think I'm good on that front. You know what, I'm just going to go outside as is, because I know I'm going to be coming up in the ocean anyways. So, it's not as if I'm going to be coming up in the middle of a, a monster fest or something like that. There we go. So let's head on up. Put the blocks on my bar. Make sure they're ready to go, because I do want to make another pillar up there. Because I'm going to be expanding this part up here, because I am coming up and down a lot more often than I... Oh! That was almost horrible. Let's get it some air. But yeah, I do plan on going up and down a lot more often than just every once in a while. Uh, let's just do this real quick, just to get some cheaty air. That. And I do need a quick little marker. Like that. So this has already been thoroughly explored. But I know there's jungle in this direction. And the old pillar, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do something with that just yet. Like this. And just surround it with torches, as always. I'm probably going to be making a little port up here. Oh, that's my doggy yawning. Uh, just making sure that we know she's there. <laughs> and jump in. Plop the... W oh, don't, don't make me drown, boat. What the heck? I didn't know that could happen. Okay. And let's go in this direction. How much time do I have left? Uh, quite a bit of night time left. Although less than half. Here we go. I knew there was some land. I don't I think there's jungle over in this direction. Well, we'll see what this island is, if it's just an island or if it's something more to it. I mean, I could dig out the sand at the bottom here, but that would be a pain and a half. No, this is just a tiny little island. Let's go this way. I'm, I know for a fact that there was something over here. So while I'm doing this, um, why don't I talk to you guys about stuff? Let's see. What did I want to talk to you about? Well, I don't know. I guess stories are the thing to do, really, huh? Yeah, why not? A story. Um, well, how about video game story? Um, well, I guess a video game story. And, well, back in the day, or back in the day, let's start that over. I have always considered myself to be a jack-of-all-trades type of person. Here we go. A person that's an expert at nothing but good at many things. Um, I think this was the most evident 
during my days at university where I spent a lot of time there we go this is exactly what I was looking for and you break because I can grab your stuff okay I'll be collecting the sand now because this is exactly what I need but yeah what I was talking about oh hey skeleton you didn't even notice me yet there we go much better but yeah I where was I I was talking about my days at university hey creeper no I don't want your help with digging this stuff out go away and I spent a lot of my time between classes uh, there was a small little arcade at the bottom of in the basement of the university and obviously being a gamer myself I was very much intrigued by all of this and this is how I kinda got introduced to the whole uh, fighting game culture so to speak uh, because there was a few quite a few machines in there and a lot of them had fighting games like we're talking uh, Tekken, we're talking Street Fighter, and my favorite was King of Fighters. Uh, King of Fighters 2000, especially. Uh, gotta age myself a little bit here, but that's okay. I think I've told you guys my age before, no? I've said many other things that have aged me anyway, so, eh, whatever. So yeah, I got wrapped up in that, and I got killed so much. These guys were like, there's a few of them that had gone to like Street Fighter tourneys and other kinds of stuff. So these are a lot of guys that knew what they were doing. Let's turn the sound down a little bit, just a little bit. Just so it doesn't drown out to my voice. But yeah, I, I came to learn a lot from these guys. And then first thing I learned is never blame the, the joystick. Never blame the joystick. I got, <laughs> I got schooled so often. Like I, once or twice, I would blame a joystick, saying this is not working. The guy who would just beat me just would lean over a little bit, grab my joystick. <sighs> no, that's not a euphemism, uh, and would show me that you no, know, this is completely working fine. There, you have, you just suck, or. But see, that's the thing. I, it w my status was kind of weird in that it was always the same group of people that were hanging out at this place and hanging around, hanging out around the machines. And I, I always got creamed. I was not the best. That's for sure. Like I said, some of these guys went to tournaments, so they were a lot better than I was. And, but I got good. I mean, I memorized all the move sets. I got some combos down and every once in a while I would eke out a win on these guys sometimes by luck sometimes by actual skill and it would always be like oh sweet I think once or twice I actually had a streak of two or three but it got to the point where I was essentially the worst of the best like you've always under heard the term the best of the worst um, it's the reverse for me it's like Essentially what would happen is, um, like, I would come up, and I would get beaten, and I would I would play, I would still keep on playing, I, I spent a lot of money in those machines, and what would happen is somebody new would come along, and they would put me up against them, and I, this is essentially the, 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 the level of, if I could cream them, then they had no chance and I creamed quite a few newbies uh, but if they stood a chance if they could cream me then they stuck around usually but yeah it was I honestly I love I love those games I still I still wish there were arcades around so I could play some King of Fighters because I mean I could pick up like a console version of King of Fighters but it's not the same it's the the social atmosphere isn't there man I have a lot of sand I didn't realize just how much I had dug out but yeah the social aspect of it all I know you can play it online and but it's 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 different it's not the same playing on a console than it is 
like putting your quarter next to the guy next to the line of quarters just to make sure that your turn you put your essentially you're standing in line and you pay attention to that quarter you know everybody knows whose quarter that is and nobody dares try to claim that it's their own and it's just this culture of yeah let's do this but and we're gonna cream you but at the same time we're gonna congratulate you when you do something that's impressive like every once in a while I pull off a combo move and said whoa nice it, I miss that I wish there were still arcades around the arcade culture has definitely died in our day and age a lot of it through not of our anybody's fault so to speak but it's just just bad stuff that happened in arcades which is unfortunate like drug dealings and you, you know arcades have all that reputation of being a bad place to hang out just because there's a bad crowd so to speak quote unquote I gotta stop doing the quote thing with my fingers whenever I say something like that it's not as if you guys can see it I think I have enough sand what do you think I'll probably have to explore all of this later on yes I definitely do but yeah that's my little spiel on arcade culture and my days in it okay let's see if I can no that's gonna take too long <laughs> and I miss those days and I wish there was an arcade around I know there's some like bar slash arcades and that but there's none around my area and that sucks well there is one bar that has a few arcade games but these are like the old like the shooters nothing like king of fighters in there <sighs> Uh, I'm an old dude that's complaining about the, that reminisces about the old days. I guess that's what I've been reduced to. Uh, alas. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. At least nowadays I have Minecraft to play around with. Good, I can see my tower. It's all good. I'm definitely going to keep that one then because it's a good indicator of the general area of the cavern. And let's get back down into the cavern and get this stuff cooking. Because I have big plans for around here and you I am going to leave here. Oop. Unless you want to leave yourself, which is entirely possible. All right. Back down we go. Hey, zombie. Ow. You stuck down there? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Seems like I can shoot straight down at you. Alas. Uh, let's see. Button is right there. Perfect. So then. Trees aren't growing that much, but that's fine don't really need it right now. Mm, yeah, I do need the wood. Although I have quite a bit of... I think I'm good for now. Although that's going to make dark wood. Hmm. Dilemmas. Let's make a few more furnaces, though. Speed up this whole process. That. Okay. Uh, coal. I've been thinking about making a a, a little blaze farm for myself just because it would reduce my dependence on coal that's for sure and which would be nice I mean have something that automatically generates something that would cook things up without me having to mine anything Let's put that away there uh, that's one of the advantages. I mean, you don't really need blaze rods for anything else once you have your brewing stands and the like. No? I don't know. But it's just, oh, it's so much work to do. It, it's it's scary, really, just how much it requires to make a blaze spawner. I'd have... I'll look it up. I think that's one of my things, especially since I know I have a double spawner, or pretty close to a double spawner in the nether right now. So it would definitely be profitable for me to do so, and doable, and many other things, I think. Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's see now. 
Let me check one thing real quick. And I'm back. So while this is cooking, let's go explore the abandoned mine shaft a bit, shall we? Because I know that there's a spawner, a spider spawner right there. And that seems just about the right height. And we know that, hey, tree, we know that baby spiders came up while I was in there earlier. So I think it would be a good idea just to give it a look, see if maybe we can find a treasure chest or the like. There we go. Still should take a look at that. Okay. Now then, this here, you are so dangerous. I did not bring any blocks either. If only was a, there was a way for me to get blocks. Ugh. Minecraft? Why do you make, make getting blocks so hard? <laughs> I'm so funny. Yes, I hear you, zombie. Oh, I hope this isn't permanent lava. Like that, like that. Oh, they're playing around whatever water's up there, that's for sure. Quick scratching of the ear, which is always complicated when you have headphones on. Yeah, this is permanent lava. Great. Awesome. You suck. Like that. Maybe this will take care of it. Like that. Like that. Go away now. There we go. Ta-da! All done. Oh, hey. Zombie right there. It wasn't the, in the middle of it. I'm surprised you... There's a lot of you, aren't there? There might be a spawner right there. And you gotta be careful. Remember my to. Uh, um, let's try that again. I have to remember that arrows are not an unlimited supply around here. That's only at the by bi ye biome dome. Damn skelly scaring me. There we go. Definitely replenished my gold supply though. Let's see. Oh, I think this is the water that was just above the uh that. Could be. Maybe the water it's just the water I was hearing. Seems I'm like on the same level though of the doorway. More skellies. Hello, skellies. Like that. One down. Yep, you're gonna shoot me. Oh, there's a lot of you, too. Come on. Let's try the blocking kit. Come get some. There we go. Creeper, creeper, go away! No, no, no! There we go. Oh, hey, one of these. This isn't part of an abandoned mine shaft, usually, is it? Aha! Oh, look at this. Now this, I believe, is over my the entrance of my abandoned mine shaft. Hmm. Let's see what's this. Um, I guess, you know what, I think I came down here before, because I thought this was the hole that would take me back to where I was previously, and I was wrong. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, f just as an FYI, I, I, when I came back from the first exploration of that forested island over there, I had gone through a hole and went, uh, this is not the right hole, it's just some random abandoned mine shaft. I guess it wasn't as random as I thought it would be. Or was. Or could be. Be all that you could be, abandoned mine shaft. That's all I gotta say. Why are you saying that? I don't know. This is a lot of coal. 
Remember how I was saying that I was running out of coal? Problem solved. There we go. All good. And you. Let's have some food. Whoa. Almost forgot about you. There. Well, I forgot in the sense that I wasn't even paying attention to the gravel. Okay. So, like that, and like that, and there. I think I am good for now. This is not the way out, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is, yeah, the cobble right there indicates to me that this is correct. Ta-da! And just for comp... There is the spawner. I knew you were there. Let's just light you up a bit, huh? Not up the bottom part anyways. That. Like the zombie. All stuck in the spider's web. <laughs> it's like a little monument to abandon mine shafts. I should not stay here. This is a very dangerous. So I'm pretty sure a spider will... Oh! Or a skeleton. Damn it. Hey, You... Get... There. Ugh. You got a bone. You got a bone... Ugh, no, I'm not even gonna say it. This is... Uh, <laughs> oh! Oh! Hi there! How did you... How did I avoid you? Okay, let's... You know what? Let's go up there. Take a look. Like that. Yeah, this is the stuff. And I am make gonna destroy you, I think. Because that is too dangerous. And I don't really have a need for skeletons. Uh, spider spawners right now. Like that. And let's see, you zombie can are free to fall down. No, oh, oh. plan is foiled again. And you are going to go away. Oh, you are going to go away. Oh, that was it too. What a disappointing passage. It, go away. And let's put another torch right there. That's it. That's it. Okay, then. Uh, let's just... Whoop. Grab you. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Pick. You have served me well throughout all of this adventure. Now time for new Pick. The, the newer version. That's not quite as good as the older version. What? What's this? Did I put that there? Oh, yes, I did put that there because I wanted to go up. Durr. <laughs> I was going, why did I block this passage off? I didn't. I made some stairs. Grab you. There we go. And... And back up. There we go. Oh, I guess I didn't eliminate the water up there. Hmm. I will have to investigate that further at some other time. So let's make everybody dizzy. I can do this too. Let's see how our glass is doing. Of course there's coal right here. <sighs> but I got nothing to cover it up with right now. I'm going to leave it there for now. <laughs> uh, it's almost done. Alright. So, got some exploration done, got some more exploration done, and got some glass. Yeah, that's good for an episode for me. I think we've accomplished quite a bit today. And next episode, I will actually be building stuff, too. And I'm actually kind of excited about this one. So, I... I'm looking forward to seeing you all next episode. And once again, everybody, I want to thank you for coming along to 
with me on this adventure. And you go there and there. Okay. And you there. Yes, thank you all for watching. And I will see you. No, that's. Uh, stop imitating others. Thanks for watching, everybody. And have yourselves a good night. Damn you, button.